Question number eight, Grant Robertson. So, a fool, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Finance, does he stand by all the spending commitments made in Budget 2015? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, yes, I particularly stand by our commitment not to means test superannuation. I also stand by our commitment to increase benefit payments for families with children by $25 per week, the first increase in real terms since 1972. And I stand by our commitment to increase health and education spending by $1.7 billion and $680 million respectively over the next four years. And I thank the member for his question. Yes. Supplementary question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. In light of that answer, does he stand by the statement in Budget 2014, quote, the share sale proceeds saw $4.7 billion go to the Future Investment Fund, and we said we would spend $1 billion of that on schools and a further $1 billion on health. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I can't uh, re recall the exact details, and knowing the member, I'd like to check them, but I can say... I can say that the Future Investment Fund has been of great benefit to New Zealand, not just in education and health, but in broadband, but in the rail network, and in a whole range of things, Mr Speaker, which would not be existing today if uh, we'd done, taken the advice of the other uh, side of the House and not proceeded with the share offers. Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is it correct that, as stated in his media release last week, that so far $635.6 million in education funding and $684 million in health funding have been allocated from the Future Investment Fund? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, if it's in my press release, um, I'm, I'm happy to vouch for it. Question, Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is it further correct, as stated by Minister Nathan Guy, that $400 million has been allocated from the Future Investment Fund for irrigation, of which $120 million has been spent so far? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, uh, the Government has uh, made a commitment over time to invest $400 million. Uh, if it's required, uh, and certainly $120 million has been committed so far. In terms of whether it all comes from the Future Investment Fund, well, that'll all be out in the fullness of time. Question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Given that page 41 of the Budget and Economic Fiscal Update 2015 states that there is $526 million left in the Future Investment Fund, how will he pay for the $680 million required to meet his promises for health and education and the $280 million that he has promised for irrigation from the Future Investment Fund, meaning a total shortfall of $424 million? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I'd say to the member that probably equates to the amount that the government didn't make because of the appalling political behaviour by the opposition during the floating of those companies, Mr Speaker. But the member shall find out in the fullness of time there's at least two more budgets before the next election. Question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. So which of the following is correct? That he has now promised $424 million more spending from the future investment fund that is actually in the fund, or that he will break his promises on funding for health, education or irrigation? Which of it is correct, Stephen? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, what's correct is that once the Future Investment Fund uh, finishes, that the government will know actually grant. The government will actually continue to have capital expenditure allowances, including in Budget 16 and 17. And for all we know, grant, maybe even Budget 18. And we'll just have to wait and see. Train spotting from Robert. Question number nine, Todd Barker.